Good morning, good morning, good morning. What's up, guys? What's going on? Crash is not here, and it is time for some game dev. Here we go, World of Grim coming at you right now. What's good? What's good? Happy Thursday. We are currently working on, in our deck cache manager, we're working on a save deck system just for now until we get uh, a more network based system in where we're using like stuff like Amazon Firebase or something similar. Uh, so we are just kind of making it so you can be in the main menu and play your match. That's our first thing we're doing today. After that, we are going to work on implementing a the level manager to display and actually for you to level up and show the level on the main menu screen somehow. We're gonna add that here as well to do. Um, save recently selected deck. Uh, load. What's up, Cody? What's up? How you doing, Water Tart? Recently selected deck. Um, show levels. Level manager display on main menu. Have a level screen that shows card unlocks. Sick. Not too bad. You, I'm doing great, man. Doing good. Got some nice stuff done on Idolong yesterday. Work's going nice today. Sweet, man. That's awesome. Good news is we figured out a number for Kickstarter for what we need. And it's not the smallest number in the world. It's hard for me to feel like I need to ask for that, right? Um, so that's good news though. We have a number. Uh, that number will go live when we are on stream working on the Kickstarter prepping it. Uh, obviously, we're not close yet. We did submit to the Twitch Game Dev Repository or Twitch Game Repository, so that we could be in the Twitch Game Selection screens um, as a category. We got rejected because the game is not far enough in development. They said I didn't know that was a thing. Let me help you. Oh, hold on. Sorry guys, we're back. Okay, so uh, we are going to work on this information, getting this working. I think what we're doing here is we are saving some, uh, we're gonna save the deck that we most recently use or look at, right? So we have an updating deck name for that, but we also need to do that for when we, we need to pick the, so it'd be the active deck when you select it. Right, so when we go here, this guy, right? So we're s switching to the new deck. So save deck as selected, and it's going to be all decks dot child count minus one is the index number, right? Um, and then we. So we do that as after after the active deck display. There we go. And then we save that number as the one selected. Um, 
We need to then... Let's see. We need to do that not just in create deck, but when we replace deck. Which is... Replace deck here. If it's active, active deck display. Save deck is selected, and it's going to be I. Cool. Um... If we add or remove a card, you know what? This should be fine still. Still be then able to save that deck. All right, we should be okay here. So index one. Right? All right, so we are index one, so we need to be, this is save deck index three. Okay, but if we were to go in and make a new deck, this guy, right? We add it to the deck. Just add a few cards to the deck, whatever, it doesn't matter that much, right? Like that. What is this line? It's new. Was that the gizmos? Maybe. Yeah, it was a gizmo. Done. Deck created. I'm a deck! I'm a new deck, wee! Okay. So it's save the deck index nine. Right? So now we go back. And we should be able to go in here and it should have saved the number nine. It did save the number nine. I'm a new deck, wee, right? So then we edit decks and it shows that deck. One time. Nope. Not show that deck. So why is that? Didn't show that deck because when we get into the collection manager, we load all decks. If I is save deck index. Right? And we should be only saving it if we need to. Same deck is selected. When does replace deck happen? Replace deck happens on select deck. Okay. So then that's that one. Why not take deck name? Okay. No. That shouldn't be a thing. That's not a big deal. Deck name is select. It's selected when it's selected. Right, we should be at nine still. Yep, nine is the, is the deck. Edit decks. This should still say nine, and it should select I'm a new deck we. I think it did. I think it did it. It did show it. Yep, it just didn't update the text at the top. Okay, so when we do that, we need to update the deck display. Right, with the information that is a thing, right? So, inside start, when we load all decks, right? We need to also update collection display. That's, a, I think that's the right thing. Check for playing now interaction as shepa 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 that's important okay also how do I update the display for the MP text deck name input this guy build deck deck name input.
It's just this. This needs to be inside update collection display, to be fair. Equals new deck to show, equals current deck. A deck name. broken hmm that means that there's something wrong with the select the current deck selected right we have some issues it's definitely selecting the right deck but it's not selecting the right deck and attaching it to the deck manager correctly right or the collection UI three current deck it's not selecting the right deck so we need to when we load decks Right? So current deck equals all decks I. Uh, deck manager equals deck manager all decks. You can do this. You can do it, Crass. Deck cache manager all decks I. Sorry guys, I totally forgot what I was talking about earlier. But the oh interesting, I don't I don't remember at all. <laughs> Got distracted. Hey! Looks good to me. Yep, looks right to me. Fox the peasant, ungrateful son, nice. Number revealed. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, we're not we're not gonna I'm not gonna state what it is, because I don't I don't like the feeling of asking for this amount of money. <laughs> Dev Donut, what's up? How you doing? But, I mean, we're going to be asking for an equal amount from a publisher. So, like, it's, you know, one of those things, right? Um, Eidolon, spent a super amount of time playing Eidolon. Did you really? That's awesome. Is there another game called Eidolon? You have more than one Eidolon? Burn him! Too many of the same one. I think called I line MMO. Of course there is. Is it more than Halbarian's number? Shoot, what was Halbarian's number? I'll tell you. Or if you don't feel like typing, you can always you can always DM me it. Another game called Idolon MMO. Mm. Is it bad that you guys have the same thing there, then? Was 120. Oh, uh, no, it's less. It's less than 120. I don't know. Honestly, I don't think Halbarian would have gotten 120. To be completely fair. Halbarian, Halbarian had a wonderful concept and a great game idea. Right? It really did. Um, but I don't think. I don't think I would have gotten that amount. Unless it had like a really good publishing deal with like Xbox or something. Right. Okay, so we have that working. Uh, we need to then. So when we load it, it needs to become the. We have an active deck. Save deck index. Our active deck needs to be set in the cache, in the cache manager when we save a deck. So we need that here. Space deck so active deck. Uh, if anything, it just proves a more Steam engagement. This game is all right. These new players were all right. My game is very different. The Steam art could already make it different enough. True, true. I don't think it's that bad for a team. You would probably need something really polished and marketable, ready to show, and some sort of guarantee to be level of return. Oh, 100 percent, 100 percent. There's a website that I look at regularly about pitch decks. It's called Founders Kit. Right? 
and like so anytime that a new game puts their pitch deck public it gets added here and so literally you can go in and you can go oh wayward strand was great right um and here's like literally a, a full pitch deck for how the game works You can literally go in and emulate success, right? I don't think they actually were successful though, unfortunately. I think Wayward Strand was a self-published game. Backbone is successful. Yeah, Raw Fury, right? So you can literally go through and you can effectively copy, right? Like they, here, they, they, did, they did backers. They pledged, they got 95,000 Canadian pledged. There's a notion page. Hey, glitch.notion.site. But, like, they got 95,000 pledged for Backbone, and Backbone is a great game. Um, it's pretty cool. So, like, I can literally go in and emulate success if I need to, to be able to push for publishers. <laughs> Video game business structures. That's awesome. This is a great website. Like if you guys don't know about this website, it's awesome. Oh, I can't put it in chat. Why can't I put it in chat? Log in. Why am I not logged in? Oh, hold on, guys. One second. Gotta use my authentication app. What the fuck up? Oh, it is. Yeah. Send on Discord to you? Do you have on your PC? Yes. I don't know anything about what a Notion page is. I'm assuming it's like a quick, simple thing that works for people. Okay. I'll send it to you. Alright, so... Deck Cash Manager, when it sends, when it saves it, we also set Active Deck equal D. I'm very quick to the website for keeping notes and organizing yourself. Sick. Very cool. There we go. All right. So now we have to, now now that we can play a match from the main screen and we have we have a deck selected and saved, we need to go into the menu and make sure that the deck is allowed to be played. Otherwise, it's going to say incomplete deck or something. I don't know what it's going to say, but it's going to say something. That's for sure. It's going to say something. Okay. Start. Um, bull can start match, can start new match, right? And it's going to be, if deck cache manager, oh, come on, you can do it, grass. Dot instance active deck dot count dot deck dot count equals 14. So, that means we need a reference to the button as well. So, button. Near. Near UI. Button. And this is going to be play match button. Okay. above a function this function is lying do not do what it says ah how wonderful yes <laughs> okay so 
on start. Close enough. No, I was gonna. I'll. I'll here, I got you. Eh, eh, eh. There we go. Okay. I was just messing with you at that point. If can start new. Oh, actually, you know what? Play match button dot interactable equals can start new match. Okay. Um. Play match button dot get component in children. TMP. TMP text. Pro. TMP text. Dot text equals can start new match. Play match or incomplete. Uh, or say we'll say invalid deck. So now, you can do it like that, but if we were to change the active deck, you can do it in there. Better not be in there. I swear. I swear to Bob. Why was there an error there? Is the deck cash manager not part of the. He is part of it. I see. This needs to be called after all the decks get added. This has this has to happen in the wake, and then in the here and start. Do it there. There we go. Let everything in the wake. Problem solved. Okay. Now it's still an error. Why? Oh, does loading the deck not load it at the right time? I see. Eh. Loading the deck happens and then this happens, right? Let's do this. We can move this to the deck cache manager. When the deck cache manager loads the deck, we can literally just go if game manager dot current state equals main menu. Then we can literally just call this. We'll call this in it. Initialized, right? Works for me. It works for me. Okay. No, we can probably make it public. And it's initialized. Okay. So we're literally just gonna go find object of type new menu manager dot initialize. Problem solved. Okay. Still have an error. In what way is that possible? It's not. Active deck equals D. I'm not sure I follow. I'm not sure I'm following why there's an error here. That you need debugger. We went around the around the rim, right? Initialize. Start new match. I'm a new deck we at 14. So I don't Oh my god, you're kidding me. <laughs> ah my goodness, man. Here I am trying to make this thing be like as as simple as possible and not like this weird roundabout way of doing stuff and i'm over here not attaching not attaching things i'm just not doing it I'm just not attaching things the right way 
Meeting time. Have a good have a good meeting. Talk to you soon. Boom. Oof. Oof. Okay. Amazing what happens when you actually set the references correctly. Wild, right? Okay, so if I change this to the incomplete deck and go back. What deck do we have now? Seven. Okay. It's okay for it to be incomplete. Right? It's okay for it to be incomplete at this point. It just needs to run itself correctly based on that. Invalid deck. Sick. That's awesome. All right, new deck ninety nine. So okay, when we load a deck, right, and it's loaded into collection manager, uh, it needs to be loaded as the name of that deck, right? So deck name text. If it's empty, so if if deck cache manager instance all decks i dot deck name dot oops if, okay, if string dot is null or empty this guy right then we do it's going to be then deck dot name otherwise tech name not new deck 99 that's what that's not what it's called it's not what the deck is called it's empty Collection deck select. What? <laughs> Equals deck dot name. Oh, all decks dot name. All decks i dot name. Got it. Found that issue. Um. Also, when we load the deck like that, we are absolutely doing this correctly. We need this, and this has to be not just the collection deck, but it has to be in the collection display as well, right? So here, so instead of that, it's current deck, current deck deck name, and this is current deck name, or current deck deck name. Okay, so it's this instead of this. Got it. That should fix that. Also, we're gonna have to end up sa saving all decks that you create on there. It's been much better. Three. New deck four. Appa. One. Not updating the name. Wah. When you replace deck, it needs to do that. We need to call that when we replace it, right? Replace deck. Update we'll collection display. Does let take collection display check for play now? Or maybe this does. Cool. Okay. Now we're looking at one, two, two deck four. I'm a new deck we. This is perfect. 
sick. Nice. So then, add a dex. We need to put a select dex somewhere, like somewhere here or here, some kind of thing. And I will be right back in five to ten minutes, guys. Give me one second.
All right, sorry guys, I'm back. What's up? Okay, what did I miss? All right, we were na creating the name system to cooperate. Card your deck saves. We need to when you're in the match, which would be the game turn manager, the deck manager, right? So if you are, if your player deck, the active deck is no. And it's the active deck. No. Is player deck current deck equals deck cash manager active deck? There we go. This is the same thing twice. If you're not the player deck, this is the exact same thing twice. Okay. This is now telling me that if I were to play the active deck, right? So I've got an active deck here. Oh, I'm gonna hit play now. Of all the buttons I could have pushed, I pushed the wrong one. Okay. So, here currently, which deck do we have? That's the active deck. Our active deck is deck number zero. The www deck. Let's make our deck the I'm a new deck we. Right? Deck nine. Oh, marked as the active deck. When we save it, it needs to become active. Save deck equals active deck. So it's didn't it's not doing that, right? Um where this set? This is on here. Save deck. Active deck equals uh, all decks. Save deck index. That's our problem. Okay. So, I'm a new deck Wii. I'm a new deck Wii has these cards in it. You play. Screw Scroll, Alera. Looks right to me. On Beans Farmer. Yep. Means if we go here to player deck. Nice. Opponent deck is playing deck three. Okay, cool. It's working. We can literally move back and forth between, or we can move into the match from the main menu with our deck that we've chosen. Right? Okay. So now, let's go and update our Trello board and not click Source Tree on accident. That's always fun stuff. So, Okay, Trello. Trello, we saved our deck. Loaded our deck. Show level manager display on main menu. Let's do that. Where are we going to put it? Right? We could put it up here. We could just put it right here. But it takes away from his head. I don't know how I feel about I don't know how I feel about that. Could put it in the bottom. On the side, or on this side, somewhere over here. We could literally put it anywhere. That's what the art director is going to be good for. We don't have that. <laughs> He's not right now. Um, so, I think, well, what if we take the background? You reduce the scale a little bit, right? That creates more room. That might be better for us then, right? So now, if we go in here and we set up a UI empty, right? An empty UI piece called level, right? Uh, I 
this. We'll put it like that. And then we go like this. We go. We'll add a panel. Then we'll add an image to it. And we'll do the image will be a white box. Right? And we'll put it in top top left. Make it like I don't know. 400 by 150. Maybe make it dark, like not fully opacity, not fully opaque. And then we went like a TMP text here. We call this if I went like this. No, 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 no. If I went and added a vert group, right? We turn off expand height. The vert group is the entire image. Right? Whole child size. Okay. Add a little bit of padding. Like maybe, I don't know, 10. Like that. 10 is fine. And we'll do name, All right? So this will be called player name. I think we make this larger. That auto size it between 18 and 72 sounds fine. Center, center it, right? Then we can literally do another one underneath it that says level 99999, right? And then we min max this to 44, reduce the amount of spacing. Level, level, okay, level display. Cool, cool, cool. Level info. Now inside here we need a public TMP text of level display, okay. We need a Private, no, we need a public void, ew, void update level display. Okay, and we do a uh, level manager. Let me see, we do level display dot text equals um, level manager. So level, this will be level manager dot instance dot current level. Shape the level display. Okay. Uh, handle XP. Okay. All right, level, level up. Okay. Um, so start if game manager dot current state equals main menu. Manager that is this down level display. Oh, main menu manager doesn't have an instance. Um, okay, all right, so 
mm equals I'm going to type main menu manager. Okay. MM. Cool. Level zero. Stuck. So now we need to save these numbers as well. So anytime we gain XP. Where we handle XP, current XP, we need to player prefs dot set int. Uh, you know what? Set int is going to be level, and it's going to be current level. Another one is going to be current XP, and it's going to be current XP. Cool. So then we can get it on start. All right. So we can literally go like this. So we can do. Okay, change this to a G. Get rid of the extra stuff here. We can do current level equals and current XP equals. Cool. So that's now a thing. Now uh, we need to also when you update it, it gets saved. Sick. Oh, yeah. oh guys. Okay, sorry guys, I've got like a weird congestion thing going on, so I'm a little bit stuffy. Which, if you've been here for longer than five minutes, you know that that happens to me frequently. So, that's fun. Alright, so I should be able to go back. How does the end game work? So, we end the game completely. End game. Finished. Right? We do all this stuff. End game. Okay. Gain XP. End turn button interactable is true. If click on the in the UI manager, you click on the end turn button. Okay, card the hand, ability boxes, stat displays, back to menu, right? So, one end turn, if text is finished. Let me slide the end turn button. Down, and turn this button on. Should work. Let's play a match. Oh, 
Oh, he got a giant. That's brutal. Okay. Of all the cards the Wishing Well gives you, that's insanely unfair. Okay. There's still something wrong with the, how the Wishing Well works. Oof. Okay. And so... I think we handle it here. They handle it too. So I think we gatekeeper. If we gatekeeper here, then we can't. Then they can't play Gretel there, right? Let's gatekeeper there. Oh, oh, beans farmer. Dang. Okay. All right. So let's play Gretel here. I think we've lost this location. There's no way to win it at this point. I'm a musician. Oh. What does he do? Handle abilities. Did she double? She did double. Oh, she doubled because of the uh, Dark Forest being two. Bummer. Okay. Do we do a little match girl here? Wait, how many cards are in our deck? Six? Do we goose girl? Okay. We have seven cards in our hand. That's wrong, though. We don't have seven cards in our hand. That's broken. Eight cards in our hand? That's weird. Odd. Okay. So we'll have to verify cards in hand. We'll do that, I guess. Um, I can't win left, but I can win right. He has 25 power, and I have 20 power. So I need five more power. So if I just wolf, I win. Click finished. It's supposed to slide. And he's not sliding. His slide is not sliding. Why is that? On end turn. I'm gonna click at the end turn button. I have a feeling I know what this is. I feel like I know what this is. Clicky. Text finished contains finished. This is obviously not true. Yep. So it's not contained that way. It's text.toLower. Text.toLower.contains. And that would fix the entire thing. It's amazing how that works. Although it did save my XP, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it saved the XP. Let's take a look-see, shall we? It did. All right, let's try that again. One more round. Treasure trove, uh-oh. Town Square. I think we're going to woodcut our town square. Let's see, figure out what the strongest card we have in the deck is now. We do have William Charming. Okay. We are probably going to... Red Riding Hood. Sick. Little Mermaid. Okay, it doesn't do anything on that side. We're good. Are we Talking Cat? I think we Piff Path. But I think what we do is we Piff Path into Match Girl and redraw our hand. Right, so let's Piff Path to Match Girl. Where did the second Piff Path go? Odd. Uh, okay. Goose Girl it is. Goose Girl's gonna be weak, though. 
Rumpel. Mm. You really have to play Goose Girl. Give us two Goose Girls. Do it. Dick. Did an update. Why didn't she update her, st her stats? Oh, brand new musician. Shoot. I didn't even read that correctly. It's funny. All right, turn six. I think we play Charming. Just to secure the win for us. And that. No Taylor. No King. Jeez. What was going on right there? You win. Finished. Back to menu. Hey, hey. It didn't. It's not, it's not doing it still. One scene loaded. New engine, not scene manager. Scene. Not scene loaded. Oops. Scene loaded plus equals. All right, so when this scene is loaded, what we do here is we do this. So it's if scene.name equals game manager dot main menu. Right? Then we do this stuff. We get it out of start. This should work. To a 54 XP. Nice. Okay, we're getting there. Level zero, we should show, maybe we should fill a bar behind the, behind the player. Okay, so maybe we do a level display here. We have an image here. We do another image behind it, right? Hear me out for a second. This one is going to be blue, right? This will be the fill amount. Horizontal. Sweet. This one will be less black. That. Cool. This is just backer. And this is XP bar. Fill. So now we can set that up to cooperate. So, okay. Was it was I doing? Dude. We change you on to on C loaded. Okay. So that bar. That bar. Right? Right, right. Level display. Public image. Level XP fill. Cool. Level display. Let's do fill amount. Using dg tweening. Let's do fill amount, and it's going to be. Uh, it would be level. Right, it's going to be a float. Okay. So first thing, float. Level. Um, I can do get level percent. Do it. Get a float here. K. 
get level percent. Okay. Float T equals zero. We do return T. Okay. So we can do math C dot percent is two float numbers. Right, and I think we really can do t equals percent from current level max level. We can do float current level. That way, it does do it. So float t. We get level percent. Do fill amount level manager. Level percent over 0.2. Cool. XP bar fill. Nope. Why did it give me weird numbers? What's it doing? I'll put a display over 909. Why is it doing that? Why does it even say 999? Where does it say 999? Oh, I see. I see. That makes sense. We have anything broken? No, nothing broke. Okay. But now the level manager is not giving me the right number. Right? And that's because this get level percent is not giving me an actual percentage. Understand why it doesn't attach to that anymore. Always so odd. Okay. Level amount. Percent. Percent is float T. Whoa. One. Zero and a hundred. Why are you zero? Level zero. Is that because you haven't been loaded yet? Maybe. Is this it definitely is low it's definitely loading it right current XP 54 okay level display Math C dot percent of current level. Current level. Butts. Dang it. Dang it. Amazing how that works out, isn't it? Oh, that's wrong too. Uh, it needs to just be. It just needs to be that. There we go. That should be good. Should be. Hey, we did it. Does that mean that we're our bar is at point five four? It is. Look at that. Would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? 
Amazing. Literally amazing. Let's play a match. Let's play a match. Let's deck with 10 random cards. Again. Brutal. We're going to play Hans Bean Farmer, though, and try to scale Hans hard. Ooh, plus one attack power at the end of each turn. Cloud Kingdom. Okay. Fifth path. We don't have... So Hans and Little Match Girl are like a perfect combo together. Flame Charming. Rush Beard. Wow. Why do you think it double doubled? I'm confused. That, that shouldn't have happened. Is that a bug? Did I not get any beans in my deck? What is happening here? Did I get no beans? Or did this, they just get shuffled far enough down where I just got bad luck? Yeah, they did. They got shuffled far enough down where I got bad luck from it. That's funny. Damn. Also, I have nine cards in my deck still. I shouldn't. The treasure trove rejects that. Let's see. They were going to lose. Play Rumpel into the Soldier. Wolf. Lost. He lost? He lost, and I'm not sure why. He didn't get doubled this time. It's weird stuff. Alright, well, our, our stuff is up. Did not get. We did not get our update correctly. This updated correctly, didn't it? Did it though? Six eight one. And our level manager is eighty one. So it's not updating correctly. Not sure I understand. Now it updated correctly. So when we go back to the new scene, we have to find the new. We saved the current XP in the level. We have to get them. We have to update the level display. MM question mark this way. Okay. We fill in one percent. Blah blah blah. It didn't I went back to the main screen, it did not this did not activate. Now why is that? Is the real question. I literally don't know the answer yet. That because oh is this because game manager current change state main menu is that not getting set but oh, it's getting set we're gonna make sure of it. The chance it wasn't finding it. So if we're in the main menu, we should be okay. For the, if the scene's the main menu, we're in the main menu. So we're okay no matter what. Right? I think so. Makes sense to me. Okay. So 
know what? So now I can make this a button. Right? Turn off the raycast target on all three of these. Nope. Sorry. All three of these turn off the raycast target. Okay. So then this bit, so then this backer one becomes a button. Right? So now, color tint here is fine. We add the button flourishes. Oh, weird. Is that because this needs to sit inside here? Probably. Well, that's weird looking though, isn't it? Oh, there's a vertical layout group. And I see. Do that. Still not sitting right. Huh. Okay, I see that. Click this, the level screen should come down. Do I just add in a level screen, like add it as a scene, like load it with it? So we could just load it on the top. That could work. I don't know, I have to figure out exactly how I want it to look. I still don't actually entirely know. Uh, let's go to Trello though, and we will add show the display. So let's set the ungrateful sun AI to only to only attack to only play if it's to, if its attack isn't zero. There's no reason to play that card if your attack's zero. Is there though? No, probably not. Okay. AI play cards. AI play cards. Okay. Case. Ungrateful Sun, if uh, if uh, it's attack. So if cards in hand, I dot attack, total attack, power, total attack power is greater than zero. Playable cards I had. Okay. Cool. I think we're really close to having um, a playable build. Now that you can move around between screens, you can. We need to be able to forfeit early as well. That's going to be a thing I got to add to this list, right? To do, forfeit early, concede, call it concede. Concede early, receive one tenth of XP. No, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. What else? 
We gotta figure out what the pet graves effect does as well. Okay. With that, guys, I think we're done for now. Thanks for hanging out today. Much appreciated. Look forward to a playable build of this in the near future. Where is the bottom part? There it is. Um, mega thanks for just being awesome. Thanks for being here. Uh, let's see. Starting Monday, we are doing our Crascation, which if you do not know what a Crascation is, I take a full week off of game dev during stream and play games. Just a chance to refresh the brain, come back to everything with a fresh, you know, with a fresh look so I don't get overwhelmed by it. And it's the easiest way for me to, to reset and recoup, right? I still work my normal, my normal 40 hour week gig, which is still freelance game dev. I still do everything else I'm supposed to do. And I'm probably gonna end up opening this game off of stream. However, the entire week on stream will be playing games. Basically a big vacation, right? Sunday to Sunday, starting with Hogwarts Legacy on Sunday. Every single day after that will be a different game. All right, guys, let's see who's live on the internet. So hopefully you'll join us for that. If you are in stream every day, for, you know, and, and say hi or whatever, you're gonna be added to a drawing for a $5 Steam card. Just for hanging out. Let's see here. Let's go over to... Let's go over to Kebab School. Kebab School is working on Lone Ruin Patchwork, which uh, if you do not know, he did release his game Lone Ruin on the Steam, and it's pretty awesome. It's really cool. So we're gonna go raid him. Here's a raid message, and I'll see you guys soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Peace out. Catch you later.